Ah, I'm always discovering that I made a mistake. Well, it's, this is not really a mistake. Um, in the last video, I said that you could attach the parachute to the little loop here on the front of the rocket. Um, and that's okay. I've flown it that way and it works just fine. But I had several people uh, when I flew it say, hey Tim, the, the rocket kind of comes down sideways and um, maybe if you put a longer string between here and the parachute, then it would land more vertically. Well, you can try it and uh, there's extra length of Kevlar shock cord in here exactly for the purpose of doing that. So take the remaining Kevlar and you can tie it to the loop here on the front. I always use a slip knot. You don't have to, you can do a double knot or whatever. Whatever is your favorite knot. Okay, so I got that attached to that. And then I can attach the parachute to this line. So on the end of this line, do the same thing that we kind of did there. Just kind of bend it over backwards and then just make a single overhand knot. And just like that, and that gives you a loop to attach your parachute. So then you would take your parachute, find the apex, pull everything tight. So you have a loop right here, pass that loop through there, and take the apex, pass it through. Again, don't let go of that. Pass that through and pull it tight. So now you have a long leader line. And it's called a suspension line um, that you can... Um, it looks cool. When it comes down, when the parachute is far away from the lander, it looks really cool. You'll like it. Um, I've attached one last video onto this so you can see what it looks like. No.